Poland Daily Business Edition. Our guest tonight is Professor Zbigniew Krysiak of Warsaw School of Economics and Institute of Schumann Thoughts. Sir, welcome to the show. Thanks to invite me. Um, Poland is uh, growing. We, uh, our growth perspective was increased by International Monetary Fund. And uh, Poland is one of the few countries that are growing uh, despite uh, all other countries are slowing down. First of all, why is that? And are there any conclusions we should take from that? Yeah, this is for many, you know, very big surprise, you know, that Poland uh, is just growing and the International Monetary Fund, you know, increased the forecast for this growth this year from 3.8% up to 4%, you know, uh, while, you know, the forecast for all the Western countries in Europe were declined, and some uh, this uh, forecast was declined as well for some, you know, uh, countries all over the the world. And the reason for that, you know, that we have created in Poland a very good economic model, which is uh, more and more independent on the, for instance, German economy. As we observe, you know, German is declining because basically of the autom automobile you know, sector, uh, auto sector, uh, where they have uh, declined the production and they have some, I mean, uh, problems there. And uh, this is uh, uh, as well, you know, uh, uh, shows that the two uh, free pillars uh, we are developing, uh, which, are, which impact, you know, the uh, growth of GDP. The one pillar is, uh, I mean, uh, internal uh, demand. Uh, uh, then investment and the export, you know, and these three uh, pillars we uh, are currently model in a, a little bit different way, which uh, compared to that was what was uh, in the e past. Easiest way for Polish medium and small companies is to export to the open market of uh, the Europe because that's we part of it. There are the same rules, and this export is even encouraged. The exporting to the markets like Far East, uh, Near East, Africa or India or South America is uh, problematic because you need to have local expertise, you have to have uh, local knowledge about the products they need and uh, if you sell your products you need to be sure they will pay you your money. Yeah, you, you touch you touch a very important and a great, I mean, a topic. You know, uh, current development of Poland um, should be focused and is now slowly focused on uh, export and the cooperation to the countries like India, China, and Africa, uh, and the Arabian countries. And as you look into the forecast of the International Monetary Fund uh, regarding the growth uh, of GDP in India, for instance. So we see that they st uh, currently are on the 5% level and they are going to go up in two years up to the 7%. So the India is going and as, uh, uh, also some countries in Africa be on the level 7 to 8%. Even China is going to be stabilized uh, on the 5%. Uh, US around 3.5%. 3, 3 so this is a very strategic direction. I I mean, uh, uh, for Polish economy to develop, I mean, uh, connections with uh, India. And uh, this uh, uh, export should be uh, more diversified, uh, and the potential of India is very high. And the cultural, I mean, uh, uh, from the perspective of the uh, relationship between the people, the India is more easy than to China, because, you know, the culture of India is more, I mean, uh, kind of more, more peaceful, more uh, linked to the characteristic of the Polish population. And the Indian people are um, uh, speaking basically all English. So uh, we need to speed up. We need to accelerate that and we in that direction. And we need to, I mean, explore more. And this will be an additional factor which will going to keep our, you know, fast uh, growth 
Ukraine-Russian economy Does in the future. Does it need a government oversight? Is the government that should encourage Polish uh, entrepreneurs to go to India and do their business over there? Oh, yes. The important factor is that the engagement of the government, because many things like uh, regulations related to a certain, I mean, uh, uh, standards, uh, f I mean, uh, to be traded in products, uh, many regula regulatory thing, systems I, I, or um, solutions uh, should be discussed between the uh, on the line government to government, so go Polish government with the government of India. This uh, many important factors or barriers you cannot jump over uh, just, I mean, a business to business links. So uh, we uh, I think are expecting uh, in that uh, area that our government is going to create a, a organization or probably even you know a new ministry which will be responsible for just development of the Polish economy uh, outside uh, the country I mean uh, in the direction uh, in the cooperation with India China and Africa and this resources should should be really much increased to manage a, a big, you know, potential. You know, only New Delhi, you know, the capital of India is just a half of the population of Poland. So 1.3 uh, billion people in India gives us a really big space to be uh, kept, you know, to further uh, fast development of Only our economy. if we can develop products and uh, services that will be um, attractive for Indian consumers. Oh yeah, they are many, you know, and the, the energy f f uh, sector, coal sector, house, uh, I mean, a c c construction of sector. For instance, India started the government, the very big p projects to develop the house construction. And so the, the, the politic uh, the supporting the housing system. And f fortunately, you know, India is not just building from the wood, the houses, they should be from the brick. So this is what we we know how to do and this is a we have expertise. something we can you know deliver them. Very interesting uh, opportunities. Uh, we will definitely talk more yeah. about this because uh, we cannot leave that like that but our time is up. Sir, thank you very much for this conversation. Professor Zbigniew Krasek. Thanks a lot. Warsaw Eco uh, University of Economics and Institute of Schumann Thought. And that was it for tonight's Poland Daily Business.